So Watchman Nee once wrote that you can't have authority unless you're under authority. So if you look again at James 4, 7, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. What flee means in that part of the verse is he looks for a place of safety. So the enemy <laughs> runs for his life looking for a place of safety. So if he's not found a safe haven in you, he's going to go find it somewhere else. Wow. But imagine how often when we get out of rank and we feel entitled to our bad attitudes, we usurp authority, we pick apart the pastor's sermon, we get jealous of the, her outfit, you know, whatever. And we just kind of linger with those things as if we have the luxury of doing that, yeah. he will take it. And what I'm thinking right now is that he's looking for every open door because he knows his time is short. So we mm -hmm. don't walk in the fear of the enemy, but as we walk in the fear of God and we take that seriously, we submit to God, resist the devil. If you could peel the sky back, you would see some Christians running for their lives and he's intimidating. A spirit of intimidation is a very big thing right now. But then you'd see other Christians stomping their foot and he's running for his life mm -hmm. and he's running for cover trying to mm -hmm. find a place of safety. And I think, you know, getting too arrogant and kind of you know, picking a fight with the devil is not wise. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a, he's a foe, right? Mm -hmm. And we're no match for him on our own. But under the authority of Christ, we have the blood of Christ, the promises of Christ, and we have the capacity, the biblical stance to stand and say, you must go. You can't have my family. You can't do this to me any longer. And there is something so powerful in knowing our place.